Hi, this is JJ Kim from Orange Wedding Films, and I just saw on the Twitter that Zoom H4n does have separately controllable channel 1 and channel 2, and I just updated the firmware just now, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It might be a little simple, but I just want to get it out there. So my channel 1 is being recorded by wirelessly through my uh, Sennheiser um, wireless. And my right channel is the uh, the shotgun mic. Yep. So after you upload your firmware, and actually I'm also I'm recording the audio through 60D, and this is manually control audio. And let me see if I can if you can tell a little difference, especially when I'm quiet. You know. And I'm gonna go back to the manual audio. Hopefully you can tell the difference, but um. Yeah, at, at, after you uploaded your uh, firmware update, you go to, actually you can do it while you're recording too. Um, go to menu, go to input, and there's a new menu called one to link. And if it's on, you'll be same as before, where if you control your uh, level, the both of them goes down, goes up, and goes down. And if you go to menu again, input, one, two, link. And if you turn it off, now you can individually um, control the volume. It's the same as, as the, when you do the mic and uh, four channel, mic and uh, two input, you have to push one of the channel. So if I try to change the volume now, it will say press one or two key to change it. So I'm going to push one. And you can go up, and you can go down, like this. And you push two, it goes up, and it goes down. And that's the shotgun mic that on the channel two. So you can do it um, right away. You don't have to wait till the it disappears. The this the screen disappears. You can do it as you're doing it. All right. Hope that helps. And here you go. Update your H4n right now.